All right, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, if we're trying to find the inverse, this is where it kind of gets a little confusing. Because if we were just going to follow these rules and so forth, we would have x equals 2 to the y, right? Mm -hmm. But then the solve for y automatically come into problem. And this was what I was, I was hoping you guys would at least come into. You know, how do we undo raising something to the second power was easy. We took the square root. If we're going to raise something to the third power, we take the third root, right? So what inverse operation do we have when we have a number and we're raising it to the y root, y power? Huh? I don't know. Y root. The y root. Okay, but you're taking the root. How many times? You know, the root says how many times does the number multiply with itself, but that number is a variable, right? So it's kind of like it has a little trouble, right? It kind of makes sense. So what? Well, no, that would be when it was negative, which I, I guess I agree with. Remember, when it's negative power, that's when you put it in denominator. Yes? Well, that's why that's how we use the logarithm. What the logarithm is, the logarithm represents the inverse of this. So to solve for y, what we do is we'd write it like this. y, and we'll talk more about this in a second, y equals log base, um, base 2 of Relax. So sorry, that's f inverse. So the inverse of this, if we were going to write the inverse of this equation, so if it's y equals 2 to the x, the inverse is f inverse equals log base 2 of x. And again, what we'll talk more about the logarithm for right now. I just want you to understand where logarithm kind of comes from. We talked about the inverses. Do you guys see? These two functions are inverses of each other. These two are inverses of each other. These two are inverses of each other. And these two are inverses of each other. OK? So rather than log being some kind of crazy thing, again, I'll explain more of logarithms as long as you're paying attention. Um, I'll explain more log. I just want you to understand that logarithms, in a basic form, just represents the inverse of our exponential equation. Correct. <laughs> 